Okay, here we have a Wakara Genius helicopter mounted on a test stand, and it's mounted on foam so that you don't uh, you don't get some wrestling there. And then we have a uh, power supply connected to the helicopter so we get a consistent 4.2 volt, and uh, that will take care of any batteries running out there. Uh, on the helicopter is a receiver mounted to a double-sided tape. Now we want to simulate a uh, very stiff foam similar to what what I got when I first got the helicopter, and. Um, here we have a electrical tape holding the receiver down on the foam because foam is starting to get to the point where it's not really sticking that well. So the uh, electrical tape holds it down for one thing. Secondly, you know, by you could show by Hooke's law uh, that if you, when you have two parallel springs mounted to each other, opposing each other, you actually stiffen stiffen the effective spring rate of the of the foam. So I'm going to turn this on to 50%, and we'll see what happens to the roller. Now you look carefully at the uh, swatch plate, you can see that it's uh, jittering, it's moving about, it's almost like it's hunting. That's kind of similar to what I got when I first got a helicopter, it simply would not fly in 6 axis mode. It would jitter like that and uh, it would simply just not fly. So now next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away the electrical tape and what that does is that it, uh, it frees up the receiver. It's still stuck on the double sided tape, but not very strong, but you know, it's a little bit stuck on there. But uh, that would reduce the stiffness of the mounting. And we're going to power up to 50% again. So now you see that the jittering is a little bit less, less than before. And then finally what I'm going to do, of course, is I'm going to slowly lift the receiver up from the full mounting pad, just so that it settles here. You can definitely see now that the swatch plate is very steady because there's no more vibration going to the receiver. Now I'm going to try to just tap it down slightly, just enough so it just barely sticks. Uh, so, there you go. So now the swatch plate is pretty steady, just jittering a little bit, but nowhere near what it was before when I had the electrical tape on. So that shows that when the stiffness increases, what you get is you get a lot of jittering on the swatch, swatch plate and uh, you, could, you, could, you could see that the more vibration you have there on the receiver the more jittering you have the swatch plate and with the swatch plate moving around like that you're not going to get a very stable flight the helicopter is going to be wandering all over and it's just not very steady